Hello my beautiful vloggies, it's Patty Boulay here, the vlogging grandmother. Uh, welcome to my channel. My channel is about everything to do with life, including my music, um, oh, grandmotherly advice, um, shows I have done, and even like today, films I have done, and also my TV chat show, Life with Patty Boulay. Well, if you want to join my um, group of vloggies, that's what I call my lovely people who watch my video, then do hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ring that bell. Today, I want to share with you, well, films that I've made. Today, I have three, three films that I have starred in and also a BBC BBC TV series called Brothers and Sisters. It was to do with gospel, a gospel church. Um, well, let's start with The Hussy. That starred Helen Mirren. Boy, I remember I was offered a role in it. It was, I was very young at the time. And the role, for me, it would have been an enormous amount of money, but I had to turn it down because she... Um, was not only the character was not only a prostitute but my goodness the things she had to do I thought oh no that will kill my parents I am not doing that but you know the wonderful thing is that they actually allowed me to just play the part of a singer in the film so I'm going to show you just a, a quick clip from the film Hussey starring Helen Mirren no one is near I started in, um, I was, oh my goodness, I think I was 21, and I starred with Jerry Sunkist, bless him, the late Jerry Sunkist, what a lovely young man he was, handsome, gentle, oh my goodness, they say the best ones that young, it was just, that was right in his case. Such a lovely young man to work with. The film was called The Music Machine and it was filmed in and around Camden Town in London. I loved it. I loved being in it. I, I remember I had only just learned to drive and I just got my first car, which was a, a Ford Capri. Um, well, <laughs> I learned to drive in it and I used it in the film. I had to do like a a quick getaway in this car. Oh, what fun! After just learning to drive, I think it must have been a week after I passed my test. <laughs> Scary! But anyway, this is um, a clip from the film which someone sent to me, someone shared on Instagram, and I hadn't seen it for hundreds of years, and I was just so glad to see it. It was the bedroom scene with lovely Jerry Sonkist. Here it is. <laughs> I'm quite excited about tomorrow. Yeah. Do you think we're in with a chance? Mm. Yes. Do you have to be at the market tomorrow? 7.30. I'll make sure you get there. Okay. Claire, I was wondering if it's all right. I'd like 
like to to find my mind. Yes, of course, Jenny. Now, the third film I want to share with you um, was made in Nigeria. And wow, that was while I was known um, in my maiden name, actually, as Patricia Ngozi Ebigwe. It was about this kind of espionage, you know, uh, but set in Nigeria. And it was called Busy Daughter of the River and said to be the biggest grossing film in Africa so far. And I hope they're right because it ran in the cinema for about three years. Sadly, I was killed off in the film, so we couldn't do a sequel. But I was the star of the film. I played the character of BC. So if anybody out there has the entire film, please let me have it. But while I was filming this, I was pregnant with my daughter, which is very interesting. And I was as sick as a dog while filming. And I had to film in a in the Badagri, it was like in a lagoon, it was, oh, filthy, but I had to, there was a, a boat chase, and I died in the boat chase, but all I have left of it now is just photographs, and the, the poster, and a shot on, you know, while waiting to film on the set, so that is, those are three films, oh, and I starred in the BBC series Brothers and Sisters about a gospel church. Very interesting. It was actually directed by a lady called Ama Ashanti, who's gone off to do great stuff in Hollywood. But I remember, I think this was one of her first early ones, okay? And I was playing this man eater whatever that is and she wanted me it was it's opened with a funeral scene and she wanted me to um do in africa we have professional um mourners okay they wail they wail loudly makes it really sound like a funeral okay when you screaming ladies down the corner <laughs> and the, you know the thing is they don't even know <laughs> Who the deceased it? Anyway, I, I shouldn't make light of this. But it was called Brothers and Sisters. And here is a clip with the wonderful Joe Marcel. Oh, it was just fantastic. With the wonderful Joseph, who was in the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Yeah, after this film, the series, he went off to make the uh, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Maybe I should have gone to Hollywood. Uh -huh. No, not for me. Anyway, here is Brothers, a clip from Brothers and Sisters. I don't know how you manage to stay looking so slim, girl. Well, I get up each morning and uh, squeeze myself into my lycra and then begin my exercises. Slowly at first and then I steadily work myself up until my heart is pounding. That must be a sight. And then there's food, which I find sensual. Mangoes, passion fruit. I like passion fruit. If music be the food of love. Play on! was from brothers and sisters i tell you what there's so many other things i have done like um bbc series with lenny henry i think it was cool what was it called oh my goodness it was in the 70s and it had norman beaton and lenny henry it was again bbc series love that series and i had a TV series called The Patty Boulet Show on Channel 4. That again was in the 70s and it was actually one of Channel 4's first series. Oh boy, I remember that, yes. And we, there was problem with the lip sync in the, when the final um, edits came out. But you know what? It was shown in Nigeria for many years. It's shown all over the world. Shown in Australia. It was shown different places. And I'm so grateful it got me fans. And I hope if you have seen that, that you have joined my group of vloggers, guys. Also, 
in Nigeria, um, I was the face of Lux. It was done, I think I was 18 or 19, but it was filmed here in the UK, and but it was shown and it ran in Nigeria for 29 years. Would you believe I was only, I was only replaced recently? And here comes Patty Boulay, the glamorous Nigerian singer and international star for a live television show. And I was part of the beauty of King Lux. Lux beauty soap is so nice and gentle. It keeps on skin soft, smooth, and beautiful. Not extracting new Lux, keep your skin softer and smoother like Patty's. New improved Lux, the beauty soap of the world's most glamorous woman. So there, that was the clip from the Lux ad that they showed for 29 years. A bit fuzzy because it was in the 70s and you, you wouldn't, now you have digital TV, <laughs> okay? We didn't have digital TV in there. That was the quality we had to live with. And New Faces, it was on ATV, filmed in Birmingham. And do you know... It was, it, it, it was sad for me because when I went for the audition, I had an agent at the time who sent me, you know, to audition and I really didn't want to because I looked at it and I thought, I don't want to do this because it had Tony Hatch and it had Mickey Most. They were like two Simon Cowells in the same program. It was scary and I thought, whoa, no, no, no. You know, I, I'm confident, but not that confident, you know? <laughs> I, I think I can sing because I think everyone can sing, but I, to go on a talent show, that was a no-no. So I turned up hours late because I wanted to say to my agent, here you are, here's the ticket. I turned up in Birmingham and you know, I turned up in the studio and there was a strike. So I was the very last person to audition for New Faces. And I turned out in the end, it was the same, when the program, when I had to appear in the program, it was the same week that I lost my brother, Tony, in a plane, in the plane crash in Kanu in Nigeria. He was a pilot. And so it was very sad. So I picked, um, I didn't want to sing a happy song. So I picked a slow song, um, a ballad which was written by Jim Weatherly, People Some People Choose to Love. And um, I guess what made me stand out was that even while singing, I was holding back tears. And somehow that must have been what the judges picked up on because I got, for the first time in the history of the program, maximum point, 120. 10 from all the judges. I mean, come on, that was, it was amazing, you know. So here is a clip from New Faces. And oh yes, I forgot to mention, I went on there with my signature plaques, okay? It was the first time on television, people have seen someone, a black woman with those plaques and with seashells. And it led to the, to 10, you know, um, Bo Derek's hairstyle. So I'm really proud of that. And then, of course, everybody started wearing braids. I didn't invent braids, okay? It came from Africa. We had to have braids at school. So it was natural for me, but it was just the style and the way I wore it just made me stand out. I thank God for that, hey? Imagine how things happen. That's amazing. So here is the clip from New Faces. programs and you've finally heard it at home 120 out of 120 for Patty Boulay. Too much. And it must
enjoying 170 shows with you on New Faces. Bye. Goodbye. I'm so glad you checked in and I hope you love these clips that you have seen. Please don't forget to subscribe and join my lovely, lovely group of vloggers. God bless you. I will share some more as they come up. Take care now. Bye.